friends, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time watching, I'm Lorena and today I'm sharing my must-have favorite decor items I love having in our home and I'll also share a haul of some newer pieces that I've gotten recently. So I hope that you find some decor ideas and also let me know what your must-have home decor items are. I would love to hear your favorites. So the first on my list and ones I feel like I've mentioned so much on my channel are home decor books. They are one of my favorite decor items to have in our home and I feel like I've built up my collection a little by little by getting some on Amazon. These are the most recent ones that I've gotten from there and they are just gorgeous. They have great ideas and just look beautiful out as decor. I've also found some at thrift stores and half price books and as a teacher I get an additional discount there so that's great but they just work as decor on a coffee table, side table, shelves, an entryway, pretty much anywhere. They look beautiful just stacked together in between some bookends or even just to help give heights to any of your other decor. But I also love looking through them for inspiration. I look through them while having coffee in the mornings on the weekends. It's just kind of become my weekend ritual and it's just nice to have something in print in front of you and not just look through Pinterest or Instagram. So I love just getting ideas on how I can decorate my home but then they also look great just out as decor by themselves. So they are definitely on my must-have list and I will link um, a lot of my favorites down below for you guys. We have a little guest here joining us, but the next on my must-have favorites are candle accessories. So other than being functional, because you really should trim the wicks of your candles every time you light them, but I think that they just make a beautiful decor accent piece. I love the gold color on these, but you can do a matte black or brushed nickel if that goes more with your home. And I think that they just look beautiful on top of some stacked books just next to a candle or as part of a decor tray. Just anywhere where you just need that little extra item to complete a decor look. So it's something really simple, but I still really love them. I got these on Amazon and I will link them down below. Another one of my favorite decor items are pitchers. I have quite a few that I'll use either on my dining table or the kitchen and of course some can be functional if you're hosting or something. You can serve your drinks from them and they look really nice but I love using mine to hold fresh flowers or faux greenery or even just on their own as a piece of decor. They look really nice. I got this one recently from Crate and Barrel and I love the color on it and the shape. I've even DIY'd one that was like a lime, lime green color and I painted it and gave it an aged look with some texture and now it's one of my favorites. I also have one that belonged to my husband's grandmother so it's a vintage piece that's really special to me. So you can find affordable ones at thrift stores and then paint them and just give it a different look by DIYing it or you can find some at Target that are also pretty affordable. I also wanted to share this one that I got recently, which is not a pitcher, it's more of a jar, but I thought I would just share it here. It's from the Studio McGee line at Target, and I just love the color on it and the texture, and it's really pretty, so I will link this one and any of the pictures that I have that are still available down below. Next on my favorites list are glass items and I feel like they're more of a recent favorite but I think that they'll look beautiful with spring and summer decor just for like a fresh and classic look. So of course a large hurricane vase is a must have if you decorate with fresh flowers. I think it's just a staple piece to have when you want to display some flowers or greenery and it just looks simple and classic and I recently got this glass candle holder from Crate and Barrel and I really love it. I love the shape of it. I think it's really pretty and it can even work as a small vase for flowers as well. And then I am recently obsessed with this glass decanter for my water. I feel like it's been making me drink more water in the mornings and it just really looks beautiful on a nightstand next to your bed, on a bathroom vanity, or even for your guests if you leave it in the guest bedroom. I think that it just looks really pretty and like I said, I really feel like I'm just excited to drink my water in the mornings. And then I also got these um, glasses from 
Amazon for the holidays and I think that they're beautiful. I love the shape of them. So of course having them like for your guests but then they would even look pretty like on a hutch or on a bar cart. So just really classic and beautiful. And I also got some glass canisters with wood lids from Amazon recently and I really love them. I have some rice and quinoa and lentils in them and there's three different sizes and I think that they're just perfect for decor in the kitchen but they're functional as well so I love that. So I'll have them linked down below. The next ones on my must-have favorites are trays and stands. This is the newest one that I've gotten from Target and I love the linen material on it and the color. It's really beautiful. It's from the Studio McGee line and it has some really pretty brass handles. I think any types of trays really are great for decorating because they really hold your decor together so it looks like it belongs and it's not just a set of items on their own so they look beautiful on coffee tables and on your kitchen island or countertops and I think different types of materials for trays really add a variation of textures and color to your home and decor and along with trays stands and risers that also hold your decor pieces or other functional items together really help to make things look more organized and like they serve a purpose. I've had some wood pieces that I use for stands to either give height to items or make them look like they anchor the pieces together and I really really love them. I also love the look of a stand or riser for your soap in your kitchen or bathroom. My husband made me one out of some extra cedar wood we have, but they sell some really beautiful ones on Etsy or Amazon. I recently got this riser from Amazon and I love the worn vintage look on it and it's perfect as like a candle stand or even just a piece of decor on its own on a shelf. So I will link this one and any of the other ones available down below. And the last ones on my home decor favorites list are dried or faux greenery. They're just so versatile and can go with any style or along with any decor pieces you have in your home. I of course love fresh flowers and live plants but some dried or faux greenery can also add so much life to your home and it's just a must have for me when it comes to home decor. I've had this dried eucalyptus that I got from Hobby Lobby for a while and I've been able to use it so much around my home in different faces and throughout different seasons so it's one of my favorites. I also love the look of faux olive branches. These are from Amazon and they look really great. They're really great quality. And I also love some dried bunny tails that I have that are a very neutral color so they match with so much. And then I also got some stems from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection recently and also really great quality and really beautiful. So I will have these linked and everything that's still available down below. And that's everything for my must-have home decor favorites. I'm sorry if the lighting got a little bit weird. It got late and dark and I had to pull out my ring light. But that's teacher life. Sometimes I have to film in the evenings when I get home from work. So I'm excited for spring when we get a little bit more daylight. But anyways, let me know if I mentioned any items that you already have in your home or if there's other ones that I didn't and are your favorites. I would love to hear them. And if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye!